it's definitely you have to make priorities when you deal with stuff like that. You know, um, the producing of a show is something I've never done before, and it recently came onto my plate uh, at the end of August with Always Open. Mm. Um, and that's been a challenge to kind of balance everything. Luckily, with Rooster Teeth, we have more help now in other departments, so I'm getting more support for social media and for community, so I don't have to be the one to do everything. Mm. Uh, the, definitely some challenging days are when I'm on a live-action shoot from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then I have to go back to the office to actually like do my work for that day, and I end up being there till midnight, 1 o'clock. Um, so that happens every now and then, but... It's kind of easy when you love what you do and you love yeah. the people you work with, so it's usually not a problem. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's definitely not as common at Rooster Teeth as it used to be. Um, obviously, Rooster Teeth used to be a lot smaller and we were trying to take on a lot, so people did have to wear very many hats at the company. Now, it's it's not as prevalent. Um, you know, we'll hire an animator or we'll hire an accountant or, you know, someone to work in live action and every now and then you'll find these people who you just happen to realize are good on camera and you'll throw them onto something or um we'll hire someone who has like a really awesome voice and it's like let's try you for like a ruby character um and rooster teeth is also great about like having open auditions for things so they'll say like we're casting for you know three male characters in this like open auditions for anybody who wants to come um that actually happened for laser team which was really cool <laughs> Uh, we all got to audition for Lacing Team for different roles. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely challenging to balance a lot of things, but as we grow, it becomes easier as we have people who are actually good at those things fill those positions. Well, we have, I mean, we have some uh, rules implemented at the company just because um, a lot of it can be seen as conflict of interest. So, for example, if I went oh, like home and did a video with, Myself, Bernie, Gavin, and Gus, like my own podcast, that would be directly conflicting with an existing Rashidi product. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, if uh, Michael and Gavin went to film a gameplay video and put it on Michael's channel, it's like that would be Play Pals. It's like mm -hmm. we, we have rules set in place where we don't want people to go to our channels, our personal channels, for something they could already get on Rooster Teeth. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we don't want to replace anything, but. Rooster Teeth is really awesome in the sense that they, they know we're our own people and we have our own ideas and our own creativity that we want to like display that we can't necessarily do at Rooster Teeth. Like if I wanted to make a cooking video or a vlog or something, I don't have the outlet for that at Rooster Teeth, unfortunately. But I do have the ability to do that on my own. Um, and that's really great because there's a lot of companies similar to us who don't have those kind of rules in place. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it, you just got to manage your time well and try to make sure like when you're at work, you're at work and you're dedicated to what you're doing. And then when you go home, you could just be you and do you. You do you. You do you. <laughs> it definitely wasn't one moment. It's It's been a gradual build up to it. Uh, there was talk amongst like a bunch of people at Rushi's about doing a women's podcast and they kind of looked to me to lead that, I think because I am a very prominent female at the company. Um, and it kind of, it, I don't want to say like it just fell on my lap, but I definitely took the lead on it. Um, but when I was producing it and we were developing it with, you know, the broadcast crew and Mariel and everybody who was helping produce it, we wanted to make sure it wasn't just a podcast for girls or like the Rooster Teeth podcast with women. Um, I definitely wanted there to be a purpose to it and for it to fulfill and, and to fill some hole of content that we didn't have already, which is why we took a more personal stories, sex, relationships, love, etc., that kind of thing. Um, and it's also not only female. We actually usually have at least a guy on every now and then. So um, it, it, I think that approach has worked a lot better for us. Mm -hmm.